Hey guys, it's Danny. Hey guys, it's Danny. So I just wanted to let you know that I'm not going to be able to post weekly videos for quite a while because I've been having really bad computer problems. This is me waiting for a video to load. Done yet? Nope. How about now? 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 I give up. Eons go by and my video is still not uploaded. So I've kind of given up on my laptop. Um, I'm trying to save up for a MacBook Pro. So that could take a while. And if you want to donate to the MacBook Pro fund, click the link below. Just kidding. But so today I am here to talk about what you can do to support somebody that you know that's going through cancer. So let's get right to it. So the first way that you can support a cancer patient is to just simply be there for them. Um, some people might just want to disappear um, from the cancer patient's lives because they think that they're going through enough, they don't need um, people smothering them, or they simply just don't know how to deal with it. Well, in my experience, that's not the case. Um, no, the cancer patient doesn't know what to expect, and um, they will be surrounded by a lot of people who love them, but as a person who loves them as well, you should be there for them too. Um, even if you don't know what to say, don't know how to act, don't know what to do, because it is a very awkward situation, um, everybody deals with it in their own way, and if you're just there to um, be there, then that's step number one. That's all you have to do. And also, if you're having an awkward time with it, just let the person that you care about that has cancer know. They're new to this whole cancer thing as well, so it's probably not the most comfortable situation for them either. So if you just kind of open up and just say, look, I'm having a really rough time with this. If there's anything I can do, like, I'm here for you, that's... Just that's all you really have to do. The second way is to support their treatment decisions. So when you're diagnosed with cancer, as I found out very quickly, a lot of things are thrown at you at a very rapid pace and you can't really keep up with everything that everybody's telling you. Um, the doctors are telling you to do this, this, and this. You have to go through all these tests. Like, um, You're basically just thrown into the world of cancer as soon as you're diagnosed. So when all these options are coming up for treatments, it's really hard to make split decisions because this is really a life or death situation. And it's really, it's a lot of pressure to have to say yes or no to a treatment really quickly um, when they say, you know, you should do this type of treatment because if you don't, then your cancer might spread. So the decisions to do certain treatments like chemotherapy, um, which are very controversial because chemo does have a lot of side effects and can cause other cancers in the future, decisions to do these things are not easy. Usually when you're making these decisions, you're very overwhelmed and you're just kind of agreeing with whatever someone's telling you to do and you don't know you know what's the best option for you specifically but the doctors are telling you that they know so it's it's a really hard situation and for you to give your input like oh maybe you should have done this I don't think you did the right thing I don't think you made the right choice with your treatment options it's not fair to say these things because if you were in their situation and you were feeling all these feels of like, oh my god, I have cancer, and then all the doctors are telling you this is the best option for you, it's really hard to say, no, I don't want to do that, I want to do something else, um, when you don't know anything about the situation. I mean, a lot of people have done their research, and they know um, what they want to do, kind of. I was 21 when I was diagnosed, so I didn't even know much about chemotherapy to begin with let alone other treatment options. Um, I knew that there were other treatment options, but I I don't know. It's, it's hard to make split decisions when you don't know all of the information. So not being able to think everything through, really hard decision to make for a cancer patient. So basically just support whatever decision they make and tell them they're gonna get through it. Um, just be a support for them. The third way is dealing with the topic of cancer. Um, a lot of people think that when cancer patients are diagnosed, 
um, you should quickly avoid the subject of cancer because they don't want to talk about it, like it's always on their mind, so you don't want to bring it up at all. You don't always have to divert from the subject of cancer. Sometimes it is good for a cancer patient to let out their emotions, talk about their feelings. Actually, it's really good. So if, you know, if the, if the person that you love is telling you, no, I don't want to talk about it, then that's totally fine. You should respect their wishes and, you know, maybe bring it up at a later time. Maybe they are overwhelmed with the subject and that's totally fine. But for you, like say you're going over there to um, spend some time with them, you don't have to, like I know a lot of people think in their heads like of subjects to talk about that will av completely avoid and distract from the word cancer, but you don't always have to do that. Sometimes they do need to vent about what they're going through and it's also really good for you to listen and learn from their experiences because a lot of people who know cancer patients don't really understand what they're going through. They don't understand, um, you know, all the side effects from treatment. They don't understand the emotional effects of everything. So if, if you're always, you know, as soon as the word cancer comes up, you just switch off onto another topic, um, they might not be able to talk to you honestly about the subject and that's a really big part of their lives right now so um, it would really help for you as a friend or loved one to um, really comprehend what's going on in their life at the moment so that you can help them further. So opposite to that, um, don't always talk about cancer all the time. Um, a lot of people a lot of cancer patients will tell you what they don't want to talk about the subject anymore. Um, I think that's a good sign to stop. Um, if they're getting too emotional and too distraught about it, just say, do you want to talk about something else? Or um, maybe you can do an activity that ha doesn't have to do with the subject. Sometimes they don't want to feel like a human pincushion. So sometimes it's nice to talk about or do other things unrelated to cancer so they might not feel the best after treatment so try and think of things that maybe um, are easier for them to do because um, you don't want to show up with this big elaborate plan and they and they feel like they're disappointing you because they can't really get out so it's it's really hard to say no to a friend when they're asking you to do an activity that you know you love doing but you just can't do because you're not feeling well your immune system's low or you just want to sit because you're so tired you can't you know it's hard to do so plan something like simple like even just getting out of the house and going for coffee is a nice change of scenery from the couch position all the time okay and the last way that you could support a cancer patient is um not to have unrealistic expectations of them so i know that um there, there's so many campaigns going around and i even support um, positivity during treatments. However, it is not realistic for the cancer patient to be positive all the time and to be like this cancer fighting superhero that you see in commercials all the time. Crying does help and letting emotions out does help. Don't expect them to be cheery and happy and oh I'm fighting cancer like I'm such a strong human being. It's 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 a really hard situation and you can't always be positive. It's great to have a positive attitude. That's the thing that got me through all my treatments. But sometimes, even me, when I was down, I got knocked down pretty hard and I didn't even want to continue with my treatments because they were killing me. But yeah, like, they don't have to be happy all the time, so don't expect them to be. They shouldn't be. They're going through hell, basically. Being angry because you're going through this crap is normal. So basically support whatever emotion that they're feeling. Um, it's really, really nice to help them feel better, but sometimes you just have to understand they're going through a lot. Um, I hope you learned something. I don't know. Did you? I don't know. Well, it was good to get that out there because they're simple, easy ways, and sometimes you just don't think about these things. So hopefully this helped a little bit, and I will see you next month with the next five ways that you can support a cancer patient. I wish I could say see you next week, but I won't. Bye!